Good morning. Thank you for joining us here on Studio 10. Let's talk some furniture. You know furniture purchases can be big purchases. So before you go shopping, it's a good idea to know what you're looking for. Let's say you want a sectional sofa. You know exactly where you're going to put it, and you know how big or small it needs to be to fit in that space. So you're already on top of things. But when you start shopping around, you find two sofas you like that look almost identical, but one is much cheaper than the other. Seems like a no-brainer, but before you go with your first instinct to buy the less expensive sofa, remember, you get what you pay for. Tom Goodspeed from Barrow Fine Furniture explains. You've probably heard the old saying, you get what you pay for. It doesn't matter what it is, that saying is true. Take this couch. Now, Tom, you said you can find a couch generally for around $1,000, a good couch, but you may go somewhere and see the same couch for $500. The thing is, it's not the exact same couch. No, it's not. Uh, furniture is very difficult to uh, compare apples to apples with because everything about furniture that makes the value you, uh, except for the cover on the outside, is inside the sofa. So I would say before you go out and shop for furniture, the best thing you need uh, to do really is prepare. Know what you want, know how much you want to spend, then you can go around to the various stores and find out if who has the best price. There are some questions you can ask. Uh, you want to know what the springs are like because that takes uh, a big part of what a sofa is worth is what's underneath it that you're sitting on that makes your rump feel nice and good when that's you right. lay down on it, you know? That's uh -huh. the big thing. The Is it a hardwood frame or is it a pine frame? That mm -hmm. makes a big difference. Particle board. Particle board or solid wood. That mm -hmm. makes a big difference. Probably the biggest difference is what's on the outside. Take this sofa right here. You could line up five of these in different fabrics. And fabrics go by grades, by the way. And the value of the sofa, as far as price goes, could vary by five or six hundred dollars. So you have to keep that in mind. Even if you see the same sofa in two different places, what is a great fabric? You can go on the internet nowadays and find out a lot about furniture. You'll know as much as the people trying to sell you the furniture when you go into stores. Do your research, and yeah. Do your research. Know what you're looking for. And that way, you're going to be assured of getting the best value out there in the marketplace. And be cautious about anybody that's screaming in a newspaper, on TV, in the store, 50 off, 60 off, uh -oh. 70 off. I always thought that sounded pretty good. It does, but you are about to get hosed down big time on those kind of deals because all furniture has a manufactured suggested retail price, at least that's what they call it, but it's not. Guess who sets the manufactured retail price? The retailer. They can adjust that and come off 50 percent and still be taking you to the cleaners. Uh -huh. So be careful of that as well. So again, going back to doing your research before Do you go day, shopping. Exactly. That's what it's all about. All right. So some great tips there. So if you are looking for some new furniture, make sure you do your research. And of course, any of the staff members at Vero Fine Furniture will be happy to help you find what you're looking for when you visit any of their five locations, which are all listed under the Studio 10 tab on our website, fox10tv.com. It's tax time.